explain nga ba sa mga online jobs? Especially if you're applying sa mga job posts sa isang job board. How do you do that? Is it the same as kapag nga apply ko sa traditional work? I will be answering that for you. I'm Shi Suarez, and this is Remote Moms Movie. So let's say you went through the listings sa onlinejobs.ph and meron kang mga jobs na nakita na pasok sa skill set mo and you wanted to apply dun sa mga job posts na yun. How do you go about doing that? So first, open mo yung job post. So as you can see here, ito na yung job post. So when you click on the apply button, it will open up another window for you. It will retain yung job post title, which is this one, and then yung mga particulars ng job postings. However, the actual job post will disappear. Hindi mo na siya makikita. It will remind you kung ano yung type ng work na they're looking for. So, is it freelance? Is it full-time? Is it, uh, it part-time? You'll see it here. It will also indicate kung magkano yung salary range that the client offers. It will show kung ilang ID proof yung nire-require niya. So, this means na if, let's say, your ID proof is only 25, you won't be able to submit an application for this job post. And lastly, it will show you kung kailan um, create yung job post. So go ahead and scroll down. Okay, For the subject line, kung wala namang specific na instructions sa job post, usually I just use the job post title. So in this case, it's virtual assistant. And then I just put the word application at the end. And then for the message, this is where you put your cover letter. You don't put your resume here. You actually put your cover letter. Although I've heard na meron mga iba na they use their resumes here and they still receive client replies. Well, that's well and good. But ideally, this area is for cover letter. Now, if you don't know how to create convincing cover letters, please watch my cover letter tutorial video. I will be posting the link in the description below. Okay, contact information. This will auto-populate now with your, um, usually it's the Skype and email that you used when you created your account. Once you have all the information updated and you're happy with how you've written it, you can just go ahead and click on send email. Now, if you want to also attach your resume as well as your portfolio, they do offer a tutorial on how you can link it. Just a reminder, this tutorial is for using the Dropbox tool. If you don't know how to use it or if you don't have a Dropbox account, I also have another tutorial that you can follow. It's only using um, Google Drive. Which is kung may Gmail account ka, you definitely have your own Google Drive account. I'll also be including the link sa description below. You can also check that out. And lastly, it will tell you kung nakakailang applications ka na within the day. So onlinejumps.ph has a cap of 10. You're only allowed to set 10 applications per day. So there, that's how you can apply for jobs using the onlinejumps.ph platform. Now, if you find this video helpful, please like it and also remember to subscribe and click the bell button so that you're updated every time we have new videos uploaded to the channel. Thanks again for watching.